Hi guys, uh, this is Samana Twenty Three, Aquatic Lover Thirty One on Instagram and uh, Andrew Basuka in Facebook. I like to get, uh, make another <coughs> species profile, and uh, this time uh, this species profile is about a uh, Egeria dancer or Aloria, or some would uh, some of you guys would know this plant as Anacaris. Now this plant is considered a cosmopolitan plant uh, which is which means that as I said before it, it can be found almost everywhere in uh, in the world uh, its origins are actually from uh, South America more specifically it's uh, from the South Eastern, Eastern Brazil Argentina and Uruguay now I would consider this plant uh, a very a beginner plant uh, for those who are starting out in uh, for planted tanks, uh, one reason being is one of the hardiest plants out there and uh, the fastest growing plants out there, and it's not very like picky uh, when it comes to uh, water uh, parameters and everything. A uh, good uh, temperature wise to grow these plants is around uh, 59 uh, to 8, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. PH wise is uh, good for uh, pH wise is uh, recommended to have a 6.5 to 7.5 even though I think uh, uh, these plants can stand to stand almost uh, almost any temperature and um, what the parameters the good thing about this plant is that it's a very fast grower uh, doesn't need too much light Low light would be best, but uh, low light you can uh, grow it under low low light, but uh, medium is uh, even better actually. Uh, the good thing about this plant is uh, as well is like uh, due to its growth rate it, and its uh, ab good absorption of nutrients, it actually inhibits algae because it will suck up all those uh, nutrients that uh, algae needs to grow. Uh, so if you guys want something that you know grows fast and you know absorb nutrients as well as uh, prevents algae and uh, this is one uh, plant you can uh, consider to uh, start up your planted tank or probably just a plant that you need you you want to have in your tank to prevent algae uh, from uh, growing too fast uh, right at the start. Another uh, good advantage for this plant is like uh, because of uh, it producing uh, some uh, phytochemicals uh, phytochemicals it will prevent the growth of, of uh, blue green algae cyanobacteria so this this is another good reason why you guys can uh, consider this uh, to be put in your tank Um, this plant, uh, because of its growth rate, uh, it's easy to propagate as well. Uh, all you need to do is you just cut off the, uh, the top of the stems and then just replant it anywhere. And uh, probably you can try this for, you know, tanks where, you know, they are herbivorous plants. Uh, because its growth rate is so fast that it probably uh, out, you know, outgrow any attempts of you know the the fishes are eating it i have not tested this uh, yet but uh this is one plant you might want to consider in uh, you know goldfish tanks or maybe uh african secret tanks uh but like i said i have not uh tested these plants in those conditions yet so i'm not uh very sure whether or not this uh, you know these plants will survive in uh tanks where there are herbivorous and African cichlids or probably some uh, South American uh, cichlids as well. But it is a plant that you guys can, can consider if you are start, just starting to plant the tanks and uh, want something that's undemanding and rather uh, quick to grow. Uh, just on a side note, this is a, a plant is uh, somewhat considered uh, an invasive plant because of its uh, hardiness and uh, uh, rapid grow so I would re uh, recommend you guys to not to throw this in in um, 
lakes or ponds in your area. I mean, because it, it is considered already a noxious weed uh, in probably you know in the U.S., Australia, and uh, and you know it's not a good idea to to to, to dump uh, these plants more where there's it's already considered invasive. Well, right, guys, uh, that's it for this uh, species update. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video and this is Summoners uh, 283 as always signing off bye bye